All right, guys, in this video, we're going to be using a tool called Mocha. It's an awesome alternative to Lovable and Cursor and Bolt. We're going to be doing all vibe coding, zero actual coding. And in this video, I'm going to give you three different tools that I just built using Mocha. And in case you like the ideas, I'll also show you how you could kind of turn them into a business. That way, if you're looking for business ideas and you don't know what to vibe code, this will give you some inspiration. So Mocha is an AI app builder that's designed around one core idea. Everything should be in one place. You type what you want to build and it generates a full stack web app. Not just the front end, the database is built in and looks like a spreadsheet. It's super easy to manage. Authentication with Google sign-in just works out of the box. It's really so simple. Describe what your idea is and then watch it build and then deploy instantly. This video is sponsored by Mocha. They agreed to partner with me on this video. So I'm super thankful for them. And thank you guys for using the link below to support this channel. Okay, now let me show you the three apps I built and I'll also explain why and how you could actually use them to make some money. Okay, so this is the first app that I built with Mocha. You can see we've got a left column here and then it generates an interface here with the color palette that the AI designs. And if I open up the sidebar, you can see the first prompt that I used to create this. So it's not too long, it's pretty simple. ChatGPT generated this for me. I just told it what I wanted and then pasted it into Mocha. I did go back and forth working on the design with Mocha, making sure it looked exactly how I wanted it to, but this prompt was a good starting place. Now, let me show you how it actually works before we go into how I built it in more detail. I could select cozy coffee shop aesthetic and it will populate down here and then i can select a color palette style so i could choose gradient and send that off and now it's generated a color palette here with a ui example of what that would look like if they built software and a color gradient suggestion pretty cool you can copy these to your clipboard if you want you could copy the css or you could save it Right now I'm logged in to this app because I have user functionality, user authentication set up, and I have an account dashboard set up. If I click save here, it's gonna save that to my dashboard and I can see it right here. You can also see some that I previously generated. So now how did I build this app? Well, this prompt was pretty simple, right? It just gave some simple instructions for left and right columns. I did go back and forth several times dialing in some of the interface elements. I think I had one error a few prompts in, but then it fixed it on its own. I added user authentication. This is what the sign in with Google pop-up looks like. And basically everything you're seeing came together with just a few prompts. At the very beginning, it did ask for my OpenAI API key. And so I went to the developer platform inside OpenAI and created a secret key for that. And then I just pasted it into the field right here. And now if I go to settings, it is stored over in my secrets. So you can see here, it uses that API key to actually generate the color palettes. Now, this isn't something that you sell directly. This is a traffic generator. You put this on your site and then you optimize it for SEO. And then you've got two plays. Either you're funneling them to your design services, for example, or you're building an email list of designers and selling them tools and courses and templates. I've seen people build entire businesses on this strategy. One good tool that ranks well in Google is all you need. The best part is I just built this in like five minutes so you could build a bunch of these. And most developers would charge like $1,500 minimum for something like this. Okay, app number two is this micro directory of AI tech startups. So this is the initial prompt that I used. It's not too long and it's just got some simple instructions for layout and color. I didn't make very many changes to the actual design. It basically looked like this immediately. It has a light mode and a dark mode, as you can see. And it's just a directory of startups. Building a directory is a great way to grow a newsletter. It's also a great way to get traffic from Google with SEO. But yeah, this automatically imported 3000 AI startups. It went and found the Y Combinator API on its own. For this one, I did add Stripe integration. So you can see here, it asked me for my Stripe keys. So I added those. And now when someone clicks on submit startup, they can complete this form and send a payment. So they can be listed on Startup Hunter for $99. And that was really all the work I did. I worked on some of the vertical padding here. I changed the color palette slightly. So here you can see there's no actual data for the startup directory because 
those are being pulled from the API. So here we just have databases for the users and the startup submissions, super simple. And then again, we have options here within the settings for publishing and everything else. So I've already published it so we can check it out here on the Mocha domain. And you can see this is the live website. The filters work, we can search. I think it looks pretty good. Now from here, we could add a blog and do a bunch of other things to make this better for Google. Now for monetization, you can charge startups for featured placement and then they'll pay you because it's qualified traffic. And then you could also use affiliate deals. Some of these startups have affiliate programs, so you would join them and then use your links on your website. Three is lead generation. You can collect emails and then use that email list to grow a newsletter or sell your own products. So much power, and I literally just built this in a few minutes. All right, app number three, this is the one I'm actually most excited about because it's more like a standalone product you could build a whole business around. Here's the prompt. For this one, I actually used a much more intense prompt you can see here uh it's got a lot going on uh, i obviously didn't write all of this ChatGPT helped me out actually i think i used claude to write this one but you can see it's got a lot going on and it ended up creating a pretty good looking clean professional app if i refresh it it has a nice loading animation creators can use this to track their social media growth over time. I'm kind of imagining this as more of an internal tool, maybe even customizing it per creator, but it's a pretty simple idea. You can see here, we can track followers manually, content posts, and then conversions and clicks here. And it's all going to be visualized on your dashboard. So for actually building the app, you can see I did spend a lot more time on this one. I tried to do a sort of funnel visualizer, but that didn't work too well. So I gave up on that. I made a few more changes to the dashboard and then I added user authentication. So if we look at the actual landing page, you can see here it's just a simple login screen with Google and that all just worked in one shot. I didn't have to actually do anything. I had to add some dummy data and posts in here. This is not my actual numbers. I had to work with it to figure out how to separate the conversions and stuff from the content so that it all just made sense. And it's definitely not perfect yet, uh, but this is just an MVP so you guys can get an idea of what's possible here with Mocha. Now here's the thing about monetization for this one. This isn't a traffic generation strategy like the first two. This is a standalone SaaS product for content creators. So you could sell this for 29 bucks a month once you have it fully built out, of course. For acquiring customers, I would use cold email. Content creator emails are super easy to find. So I'd find their emails and build a system in instantly to pitch it to creators. Then I just automate personal emails to them with AI and I'd offer a free trial showing them how much time it can save them. As you can tell from all the different examples that we created, Mocha has no problem creating beautiful apps that you can build a whole business around. I did specify for all these, I used Tailwind color palettes. So I just told them which one I wanted and it figured it out. That allows you to get a more consistent MVP right out the gate. Okay, so the all-in-one approach is really what makes Mocha just so special. It just works and it's fast. Definitely worth checking out if you guys have an app idea you've been waiting to try. Go try and build it with Mocha and just see what happens. I think you'll get some great results. The link is in the description below. And if you want more AI tools like this, I just made a video covering seven others that are absolute game changers. I think you'll love it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.